Welcome to Heaven. Also, welcome to S'mores RV Tours. My name's Ryan. I'm with Campers Inn RV of Philadelphia, located halfway between Allentown and Philadelphia. And I'm about ready to show you a little slice of heaven in this work of clay. So welcome back to S'mores RV Tours. My name is Ryan. I'm with, ha uh, with Campers Inn. RV located in Hatfield, PA, halfway between Allentown and Philadelphia, right on 309. And uh, today we got a work and play 29 SS we're going to look at. In fact, right now I'm actually standing on here what's called the party deck. And uh, we have a little screen option here on the back of the deck so that uh, when we're not having the toy, uh, we can actually have a little fun out here on the back deck. Let's go outside and take a look at the rest of the coach and we'll come right back to this. All right, so we're at the very front of this 29 SS work and play. And uh, first things first, how we get it on and off of our tow vehicle. This is a power tongue jack, so no cranking or anything like that. We're going to press one button to raise it up and one button to raise it down. We can get on and off of our tow vehicle with ease. You're also going to have two 30 pound propane tanks, so a much larger size than most traditional travel trailers. And this is actually a toy hauler if you haven't figured that out already. Um, but even though, even if you don't have a motorcycle, ATV, golf cart, or canoes, Lots of people can use these for other things other than just your toy hauler. Behind here, you're also going to find your battery box and battery rail and your spare tire because the rear of the coach, believe it or not, is your ramp door. So it doesn't leave a space for our spare tire. So they actually hide it up here underneath the, uh, the front hitch. So, and you have a very large battery rail. So if you wanted to run extra batteries, you absolutely can. So, you know, when you're out running your ATV and you're at a primitive site, you still have all the comforts of home. You do have a full battery disconnect up here in the front. Let's slide along the side and take a look at the other things that we have to offer on this coach. So first things first is this is actually set up with an Onan generator. Uh, it is a 5,000, uh, 500 watt generator. So even if you are at that primitive site, you're out uh, at the quarry, you're at wherever you are, you have this available to you so that you can fully power the coach. This is actually just the exhaust pipe for that uh, very uh, generator. If you are taking it to the NASCAR races, which a lot of people do uh, with the motorhomes, those kinds of things, you may want to look at a snorkel system that brings that exhaust up higher than the actual coach. That way you're not blowing that into the next guy beside you. Uh, take a look here. We have a small slide. So small meaning depth wise, but length, it is almost the entire length of this coach. So come along, along here. You got a couple hookups here. So you have a black, uh, black tank spray port, which is important. It's not glamorous, but hey, when you're emptying out that black tank, it's nice to have that jet system in there because it gets rid of any waste, any paper, and uh, any smells associated with it. It's also going to get you a nice clean read on your tank. So when you go to check, see how full that is, there's a piece of paper over the sensor. It doesn't give you a false read because it's able to stay a lot cleaner than the traditional black tank. Your city water connection, and then just a spray port here. So if you needed to spray yourself off or your equipment you're taking along, you have that available to you. Six and a half gallon water heater on here, direct spark ignition, and it is a quick refresh. Uh, multiple people will be able to get a shower out of this with still have plenty of water for everybody else. Come on along this side here. So this is a 50 amp coach. It's gonna run dual ACs. So you have your hookup right here. It's gonna come with about a 20 foot uh, shoreline cable. You also have uh, hookups here for cable and satellite if, you're at, uh, if that's how you like to roll. Uh, one of the things I think is really nice about the work in place is their ability to have a fuel station. So you're actually able to take, I believe it's 30 gallons of fuel along with you so that when you are running that AT, you're running that Harley, whatever your toy of choice is, you have fuel here available to you, okay? So this is the passenger side, a lot of times just, ten, I'm sorry, this is the driver's side. And a lot of times we find that, hey, this tends to be the business side. So let's go over to the uh, passenger side and take a look at the pleasure side. So welcome to the passenger side, also the side where they're more pleasure. So first things first is we have the generator on the other side, but just because you have the generator does not mean that you need to sacrifice storage. So if you take a look here, you have an incredible amount of storage here available to you not only uh, here on the outside, but the inside is basically a large garage. So storage is the name of the game when it comes to a camper like this. 
magnetic hinges too that holds that up for you so that you don't need to to pin anything or whatnot it'll actually stay up there so you can root around in there and not worry about a door kind of slamming down on you one other thing i want to show you too is these have power stabilizer jacks so again just like the front we're saying hey no cranking or anything like that for you same thing here with the uh, the stabilizer jacks you'll have a set here in the front and a set in the rear this is not for necessarily leveling the coach this is just strictly for stabilizing the coach you're going to level it through the tires and you're going to level it through the uh, front power jack if you have questions about that obviously reach out to me i'll help you out about that um, and there's all kinds of good youtube resources out there on how to level your coach but part of our deal is here i'm going to help give you a good education as well if you're not already familiar how to do so so you also have friction hinges on these doors as well so you go to sneak out you don't need to worry about the wind catching this door and slamming it against the side of your coach it's going to have to be a pretty lofty wind to be able to do so a couple things i want to show you real quick so if you take a look there's steel steps here and you're probably saying my goodness ryan why would they put steel steps on on this coach right here and if you look down the way we got the solid steps over there well they engineer these coaches exceptionally well the reason that we do the steel steps here is because if we do those solid steps they literally fold up into the cabin of the of the coach here and if you have those stairs they're actually going to be kind of up against your bed so this has dual entry they're actually going to do the steel stairs over on this side so that uh, you have a little bit more bedroom uh, availability and you don't necessarily have to have stairs sitting in the middle of your bedroom you do have a full power awning runs almost the entire length of the coach with led lights you also have outdoor speakers they're tied to your indoor speakers and stereo system so again you can have music indoors outdoors both you can be playing your favorite podcast it, it'll, it doesn't matter as long as you can hook it up via bluetooth you have that available to you this is just an access panel for the 12 volt refrigerator not a whole lot of anything exciting in there but if you do need work on the coach it's a great way to do so and they don't necessarily have to tear the whole coach apart to get to to the inner workings you have a little bit of power here as well tandem axles they use a lion's head with a one to five lifetime warranty so one year is one one year is no excuse uh warranty you get there you run over a nail you give lion head a call they're just going to replace the tire no questions asked the second year you get two year complimentary roadside assistance and the five stands for a five year warranty on the radial st tires so and then you also have a lifetime warranty on the structure of the wheels as well so lionhead really nice company to deal with work and play an exceptional camper again you're looking at an aluminum cage with an asdale uh, bound uh, laminated skin so what that means is that asdale it's hydrophobic it just will not absorb water the reason that you want that is because of the hydrophobic right it it's going to prevent any rippling or anything like that in the coach it's going to get a nice solid bond and if water would happen to get in between there it's not going to cause it to delaminate like wood would okay slide down here a little bit so again talking we have these solid steps so you go to get into the coach no bounce or anything like that on the rear here just like we were talking before you have your other uh, power stabilizer jacks and then this guy right here a lot of people don't necessarily realize what it is but when we get inside i'll show you but the idea is hey this is a toy hauler say you got a nice big harley that you have in there and it smells like gasoline you don't necessarily want your whole camper smelling like gasoline so this is actually a vent so that you can vent out some of that vapor and there's one on the other side as well so come on up into the coach i'll show you what's going on inside next all right so the kind of the whole idea behind a toy hauler is hey can i bring a toy along so it doesn't matter what your toy is whether it's a harley or it's canoes it doesn't matter but this whole deck here will actually fold down this becomes your ramp door so that you can drive that equipment up in there whether it's mountain bikes really doesn't matter you also have these dual benches here along the side there's a folding table that'll go right in between you so that becomes your dinette and then at night if you want this will fold over on both sides and now we have a bunk that we can use and then right above me we have another queen bunk with a queen mattress on there so besides the front king bed you also have two rear queen bunks available to you let me pop this over here for us got a little bit of cup holders and stuff just like uh, most most uh, camping equipment would have but I tell you 
one of the nice things about having this big party deck and having this big open air arena is I tell you what, you don't want to invite every bug in the campsite over to visit you. So I tell you what, you just pull this bug screen down, goes the whole way down, and you can enjoy the great outdoors without having every bug in the campsite coming in to visit you. We'll go take a, check out the kitchen next. All right, so a couple things to note here about the flooring that we want to talk about. One, you have 2,500 pound D-rings. They're lined the whole way up the floor. You have it in the center and both sides. And the way that they're able to do that for you is they're running three steel I-beams down the center. And if you needed to add more D-rings, you absolutely can. Our service team can easily take care of that for you. But again, you know, that equipment that you're putting in here, you know you can have it ride safely going down the road because these D-rings are going to hold quite a, bit of, uh, quite a bit of weight. The other thing we want to note is they use a Congolium flooring in here. So Congolium sounds like linoleum, right? Linoleum that we use in our like kitchens and bathrooms and stuff like that. The idea behind Congolium is it's just a little bit more rubbery and it's a little thicker. I'm told, I'm a little nervous to do so, but I'm told I can take a Sharpie and write on the floor and it will wipe up just as easy as I wrote. I'm not quite willing to do that to somebody's new camper. But think about it, when you're bringing in that Harley, if it has a little bit of an oil leak or something, you don't need to worry about your floor getting stained. It'll easily clean up for you. And while I'm here, out in the kind of living area, you got two European style chairs here that are the zero gravity that you saw at the very beginning of the video. Exceptionally comfortable. These also will strap down to the floor. This table here is fully removable, so you have all that garage space where we saw the benches and bed, they all fold up flat against the wall, so you have all this garage space. You also have your television here. It is on a full motion mount, so whether you're hanging out in the dinette and you want uh, some television available to you, or if you're hanging out here in the zero G chairs, you can turn that around to any which angle that gets you the best view, okay? And when we're talking about these uh, beds and benches that we're standing in, they run on a happy jack system. What that means is, hey, there's no cranking or anything like that. There's literally a button underneath here that'll lower that bed down, raise that bed up, lower these benches down, raise that bench up, okay? Come on over this way. So I have right here, these are steel stairs or aluminum stairs. The reason that these are important is these will actually go here on the back deck. Actually, let's walk over this way. So right here on the back deck, be really nice to be able to go in and out off the back deck here, wouldn't it be? So what they do is we have a system here like this, and these little tie rods will tie into those stairs. That way you can enter and exit off the back of the coach. Today we got a very nice scenic view. Uh, we take one step off and we would have a, uh, have a little bit of a problem. So the stairs aren't going to work in our current application, but you can't beat the view. So we have just a little bit more seating available to you. This will jackknife out, so if you do need to make bedding for another person, you have that available to you. And you also have full blackout curtains in here. So uh, during the day, believe it or not, it may be advantageous for you to pull those down because it's going to help keep that sunshine out and keep this cabin nice and cool. Even though you have two, two ACs, still like to conserve where you can. You go in here to the main galley. And we, again, we have a nice big kitchen, uh, all kinds of counter space for us, dual sinks. If you take a look too, we have accent lighting like these, they're using glass doors. Again, you want to run that at night just to have a little soft glow, really makes for a nice experience. And if we look here beside us, we have our 12 volt refrigerator. It's going to be compressor driven, it gets cold in about an hour, in fact, in just the short time that we've been making this video for you, this, this is cold enough to keep a soda cold, and it's only getting colder by the minute. One thing to note, I'm told that on a 12, uh, uh, let's talk about nuts and bolts here for a second. So a 12 volt refrigerator, if it is running on a 12 volt battery, 24 working group, I'm told if this is the only thing we're running without any solar backup or any additional battery power, you're gonna run 40 hours just on one charge off of a 12 volt, 24 working group battery. And we provide that to you. The other thing is, is that you have the generator on this coach. So even if you're at some place that doesn't necessarily have full hookups, you guys have full capabilities in this coach. 
I'm going to go here in the main galley. Again, just the same kind of uh, stove top you're going to find in most campers, three burner cooktop with a small little oven in here. So again, those Toll House cookies, that Stouffer lasagna, it's ready and available for you. You have a full microwave here as well. And again, just incredible storage. If you take a look below us here, I mean, you could not, you, you do not lack for storage in this camper. Let's head into the bathroom next. So heading into the bathroom, you have a couple options actually for entering it. The, uh, I don't know if this would be considered a Jack and Jill entrance, but you have entrance from the, from the master suite or here from the main cabin. If you come in here, we'll just close this for right now. We'll take a look at that next. Again, porcelain toilet, one of the largest toilets that they offer in the industry. And then you have a residential surround in here. In fact, I'll take a step inside. If you take a look, I am not even remotely close to touching this ceiling with my head. Tons of room, tons of availability. Not saying I'm going to stay clean while I'm uh, camping and running four wheelers, but I do have that option if I'm going to. Come on, walk through this way here. Let's go slide into the bedroom. So talk about a big bed. My goodness, we have a full king size bed in here. And if you take a look, we have power outlets and USB outlets by each one of the heads uh, so that anybody wants to charge their phone, CPAP, any of that kind of stuff, you have that availability to you. Wardrobes hanging off of both sides and storage above for everybody as well. And then you have individual map lights here. Again, it's a focus beam, so if your partner's sleeping and you still want to check everything out, you absolutely you can. We have a TV backer here, so if you want to add a television. And then, like I said, hey, I like to stay nice and cool when I'm camping, especially if I've been out riding a bike or something all day. Well, hey, we got an AC that is built for you just here in the bedroom, and you have one for the main cabin as well. All right, so when you're leaving the bedroom, you have this other entrance too. You don't have to go in and out through the bathroom. You have the main entrance here from the bedroom into our galley. Come on back out. And again, Coachman's Work and Play makes a wonderful product. They come in all kinds of sizes. This is their 29 SS, one of the largest that they offer, but they come in as small as a 21 uh, foot box, plus your bumper and hitch. So again, we have a toy hauler for everybody and Work and Play really makes some of the nicest out in the market. Thanks for joining us today.